about the alley and the season trials. We're training in that either. So, it's not another match we're looking forward to. But just now we've got Chris Rossiter, who was part of our referee team. He's going to be going up against uh, Aruj Kutbiala for the Marcos Medinis. I'm going forward to this one. Yeah. Chris is from Ireland. Yeah. He's got a lot of good things about Aruj. So, I think he's from Mongolia, by the way. Angola. Angola. Yeah. Ang Angola. Is it Angola? Angola, yeah. Angola. Angola. Uh, um, Aruj. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angola. Angola. Um, Chris from Ireland. Aruj. Aruj really has an explosive style. He's got an explosive style. Good good. Jump, jump submissions, constantly looking to attack, trying with arm bars, good hips, moving well from guard. He's got the crowd on his back as well. So. Yeah. He's had a few fire matches, man. Really good fire matches um, in the geese. It'll be interesting to see how he comes across Nogi. We have action! Chris sits the guard straight away. I predict a few jumping passes. Rude. Oh. Chris looking to drag him into a leg entanglement. Had a, had a bite on the heel hook for a second, an outside heel hook. So I think it's clear what Chris is looking to do. But Aruj will be no stranger to this kind of game because he trains at Marcus yeah. Navinis. Those guys have got All good... the killers hanging off his feet. Yeah. And he's got some of the best guys in Scotland and the UK um, to practice leg locks with. He looks calm anyway. Yeah. We've got to shoot that one off. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Jumps for the triangle over the guard. <laughs> See now what Chris is, uh, Chris is doing on bottom. Chris is kind of keeping those under grips. If Aruj manages to lift his arm up, he can get that one in one out situation which he needs for a triangle and jump yeah. over. So you're going to look to move, Aruj is going to look to move his grips one up, one down to try and get a triangle. He's tried it though. So Chris will be aware. with the pass and pass side to side. Chris has to go to his back, use his legs to defend. So if, you, if, you, if you're interested in jiu-jitsu and you've not long started, seated guards are a really common position people play because it gives you a lot of variety in the, in the guards that you can attach to. What you'll find is that when these guys get under pressure, see how he goes to his back? That's to avoid Aruj getting uh, chest to chest and it's to try and get your legs back in front so that you can keep guards going. Aruj is looking to pass side to side. He gets round the side. Chris's guard is taking John, John heavy Lamb pressure. John Lamb tagged in there. John Lamb, always ready to get involved. At a moment's notice, he'll sort he, this out. He was more ready than we were when they came through the table. <laughs> he sorted that out. Did he get a slow motion as it was like... <laughs> <laughs> So, Aruj, the side control. Chris is turning on to his side. Shooting for the cross face. Mark McQueen in the corner with Marcus Nardini. Yeah. Dave Sharp. Dave Sharp in there as well. Aruj oh, passes oh, right oh, towards oh. the head. Oh. Good defence from Chris. The crowd love it. So what Chris did there is he just slipped off control of his head. And look, he's, he's going for that him. leg lock. So he gets straight on top and he falls back straight into the position. There's shoes on the mat there from some of the crowd. Last of me. No his back. Yes. So he spins out the leg at 
nice back and forth. So both guys have traded one serious submission attempt each. Nice defense. Don't give him that space. Pressure. Stay fast to help you. Go for the arm again. This is inverted. Risk his back taken here. Look at the stand. This is glide back. Nice and done. Minutes of points now. Yeah, just under a minute until points. Been a good matchup so far. Yeah, for sure. Chris definitely looking like he favours to attack the legs. For the heels. What he's going to look to do here is try and invert his head through the middle, and spin underneath for a heel hook attempt. Oh, he's changed sitting up to a Dela Heva guard, which is more commonly seen in the gi. A rouge just slips that off. Difficult to make that position stick, no gi, unless you use like a, a little underhook on the side of the Dela Heva. So that's us now into points. I feel like Arouge just want to jump. Yeah, Arouge <laughs> likes to kind of keep things explosive, maybe just tire out his opponent a little bit, trying to retain his guard and get by, get past the guard in that fashion. Chris has really impressed me with his guard retention. Arouge is forced to turtle, so in order to avoid getting his guard passed and Thus being scored on, Chris is playing from turtle. And Rouge really needs to make this stick, so he turns him over. A really nice turnover. Chris is defending the hook. As he defends the hook, Rouge gets the hand across the rear control, but he lets it go in order to stick the pass. Tactical play. I don't think he's going to get the pass points there because that was not three seconds. Marcus Nardini in the corner saying that Chris is going to choose his moment to explode, so Aruj has to be ready. Hard to explode from turtle bottom because when you do, you just leave yourself exposed, especially your neck. Chris is trying to look up. Uh, Try to use a Kimura from bottom, but it's giving Aruj a fight in the arms. Extends the arm. He's not getting the finish. Chris is tough. Oh. Oh my god. He's going to get out of this. I think he's going to get out of this. And now he can't. He looked like he was going to get out of that arm by there. He looked like he was going to escape the same way he did before by passing yeah. the leg over the head. Good thought, job from the Rouge to collect it back and take it over his opposite hip. I thought there was a little tap at the start. Yeah. I mean, Chris ate some damage there for sure. Oh, yeah. um, solid match, really good match. Um, impressive defense, impressive, impressive attack. Yeah. Yeah, impressive. First thing I've, I've watched them. Yeah, really impressive. I've rolled with them before in the gym and his game. Yeah. He's super game. So a good introduction to the Nogi scene, but we haven't seen him compete with the Nogi, but we're going to do it out of Marcus Nardini's, they'll have you ready. So I think Marcus Nardini has cracked a smile, my goodness.